Hi guys. Well, we got something new in the shop today. It's, oh, I gotta adjust you. I'll put it on the floor and we'll walk around. It's filthy. A steel 430 BR leaf blower. It's filthy. It's been sitting in a guy's shop for three years. And he had a buddy look at it. A buddy that got his last chainsaw going and the guy couldn't get it running. But sometimes it's something electrical or simple. We don't know. So I think I'm going to work on this one on the uh, fender lift now that it's available. So look, there you go. I just did that for you, Stella. Right here, there's a broken piece in the case. And this looks like it's been put together crooked, you know. Gas, how's our gas looking? Carburetor sounded good with the primer. Ooh, we better get rid of that, eh? Okay, I'm gonna dump the fuel out. It's gonna be a bigger job than I wanted to. I think it holds a fair bit of fuel because it's a high powered machine. Okay. What a beast! Zombie Dave, I need you! Alright. I know the spark plug's up here because that's what steel does. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, let's get the old spark indicator out there. You guys getting any of this? Yeah, you are, kinda. Not bad. For me, think about it. It's a Bruce video, not Steven Spielberger. And then we're going to get an alligator clip. Okay, taking the uh, plug out, put some fuel in it, and see if it actually fires. Oh boy, that thing's got some compression. Yes, it has spark. Is this going to get her? Yes. Well, it's been used. So now let's just get some two stroke priming fuel. Stick her in there. Three or four strokes. Rotate it a little bit, get some compression. Put her in there a little more. And put the spark plug back in. And it should fire. Oh, man. Good. You heard it. You saw it first here on BTH V1 TV. All right, my friends. I'm going to put a little bit of carburetor spray down that hole and a little bit of two-stroke oil. We're gonna, it fired once before, you saw that, right? Now I've cleaned the plug. We're gonna put it back in and we might not have to take that out again. Ha! Don't laugh at me. This is just for you guys. Off one ground block. See if I can grab that when it happens. Oh. 
That is a really frustrating thing to work on. There. Just a Torx. It'd be a T27. We'll take that out of there and we'll try the same thing again. That'd be something if it was a plugged muffler, huh? That'd be the second one in a week. I just want to find those two screws now. There's one. Oh, okay. Now, we're going to find out. We're going to do the same thing again. Because I don't have carburetor control yet. gas in the gas tank too, you know, but I'm not quite prepared for that. I haven't cleaned it. Good. Now, must see threads his in by hand, right? Well, I'm 65 years old. I am not sure if I have the memory to, I might leave it loose, right? Spark plug back on there, and we'll see if we can get it fire. So now we got, so we got it running to throttle. All right, my friends, furnace is on. That's fine. I got a new tank of fuel in here. I rinsed out the old tank, and it actually wasn't that bad. It was just old gas, right? So let's give it a little pump, and we'll see if the if the throttle's locked. Yes, it was. So we go leave it unlocked, and we turn this. Start. And it should start. All we need to do is get it to fire, I think.
Open the door. That was fun. So, this was broken out because they wanted to get access to the screws. The air filter's off. But the big deal was the uh, clogged screen, eh? Which we'll clean. So they're using too rich a fuel. Look at what's come out since we've heated it up, right? Look at that. So we're there, guys. All right, my friends. I'm gonna just pour this gas out of here one more time. I hate doing this because it's heavy. But I'm gonna just see how bad it looks and then filter it. It's a liter in there, almost a liter. Ugh. Now I can have a look and see what's left. There's a little bit of crud there. That's all right. Well, that's fantastic. Now, how does this thing start just sitting there? Semi choke, right? Should start. friends here's the brass uh, screen reassembled onto its little assembly and I'm going to see if I can install it now before you couldn't see through it now you can see daylight through it I just heated it up with a propane torch and then a, a nice brass brush so it wouldn't damage this just wiped it off like that that's why it was hard to remove. Oh, now I need a flashlight. There we go. It's one of those guys where you gotta just hold your lips right. So, you know, let's see if it's any quieter. Oh, it's turned off. see if it's going to stay running. One, two, three, four, five, right? And then over here, I have this throttle locked here on about half throttle. So you, this is off, this is on, off, off the pipe, right? And then a half throttle, and then push up the lock, and it stays on half throttle. I had to learn that. Zombie Dave knows how these go together. So I'm going to just see if it starts. Six. We're choking? No, we're not choking. There. A 
and see if it starts on choke. kind of linkages that we're having trouble with and etc etc so it looks to me like there's three bolts for the rewind and two bolts for the cover and of course the two bolts for the air filter so let's start there I don't know I'm gonna to have to probably take off the rewind too because I think whoops I think it's part of the unit yes I'm gonna get a better T27 So look at that. These, these two look the same. I turn them over and one is threaded and one is fine thread metric. Good. Oh man, steel makes nice stuff, eh? I'm just going to take this bulb from the primer off. It's actually not a primer, it's a purger. Carburetor purger. Good. There should be one line left for fuel. off the gas tank. Now that should stop squirting. I wonder if this if this needs some love. This should vent. Okay that's easy enough. So that is the choke. So that goes in from that direction. Easy peasy. Big small? No, nope, big big. Good. Okay, let's back this up and wipe up the flammable liquids. Oh man. Guess I better clamp this. I'm a clamp it. You young guys aren't going to get any of this humor. You just think this old guy has gone crazy in the background. But you older guys know about clamping. Alright, here we are. Don't mix up these parts too much. Head down. Sorry there, Stella. I gotta do this because my cat, I don't have auto magic. So, this is our beast. Who makes it? Ooh. Looks like a wall, bro. But it might be a Chineseum. And it looks to be in pretty good condition. Usually, there's a Something written somewhere on here telling you what it is. So let's get going. Feels fairly soft. With the two little uh, bumps on the diaphragm. Yes. And I'm going to do a pressure test on it right now before we even do anything else. Nope. I'm going to close my hand on this. <laughs> it might provide the seal I need. Pretty good. 
Okay, look at that. I'm holding the seal with my hand. I think it's good. Now, don't forget, this machine runs now, right? It just doesn't run right. Right? This machine runs, right? This doesn't run right, right? Well, I might as well have you guys come along with me. This is the lever. This is the needle. And if you just hold your tongue right, offset properly, you should be able to lower this onto the spring and into the fuel inlet. Alright, we're going to put this back together again. I've got the carburetor cleaned and installed, but it's still loose. And we're going to uh, just put the, uh, all the shrouds and pieces and covers on so we can test it. I don't have a lot of, pardon me, I'm yelling because the furnace is on. I don't have a lot of uh, faith in this, but this is a Chinesium carburetor. I've only got the three covers left. Nothing dangerous. And we take this bit right here. If you're going to do this, you got to use a drill that's not as strong as you are. Fired once, so. Okay, my friends, this carburetor has been diddled by humans. So. This was this butterfly was mounted like that. I think I'm going to mount it like that. There's the back. You can see the mark of the shaft on the back. That shaft. Because I'm not getting any idle adjustment. I have to turn this all the way up. And I even tried a different screw on there to see if I could reach down. But it is opening it, right? It's just not opening it enough. Now that could be something to do with the carburetor too, but uh, I'm just going to go and see. I'm going to mount this the other way and see if it helps. So anyway, I'll take another shot of that in case I missed it. I am. Uh, I turned that butterfly around so that we get a draw over the low jet hole in the. It's right in there. I don't know, but I also changed the screw. Because this screw here and this screw here had been diddled and it felt like that other one had stripped and this one was a tiny bit longer. I'm reaching guys, I'm reaching. We all know what happens if this butterfly comes off of here, right? <coughs> okay. So push this in like this and we plug in the primer bolt. <clears throat> this is quite interesting to me. You have to, sometimes you just have to think what has happened before. That's all they give me. Idle speed, 3000 RPMs. Okay, my friends, the uh, 
This is the next day, starting up this blower after modifying the carburetor, flipping the butterfly. It's cold in here. It's about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 6 degrees Celsius. Gonna go. Oh, it's turned off. Telephone. Okay, let's try that again. Turn it on, Bruce. Turn it on. Pump, pump. You can't flood these. This is just a purge button, right? Choke. It should start. I'm going to turn it sideways so we're blowing towards the door. Okay, I'm going to do that one more time. Now I'm going to turn on the gas. A little bit of extra fuel, and it should go.